Hi everybody, welcome to this first tutorial on Synth Master 1 from KV331 Audio. Um, I'm going to record a number of uh, uh, videos on how to use um, this fantastic app which uh, is available on a number of platforms as they call it uh, universal. So I just launched um, uh, the app on uh, an iPad and this is the interface that you are presented with. Um, here you can see we have a preset called ARP Resonance Flow and we have a keyboard so if we click on the keyboard we can straight away hear the first preset selected. <laughs> So you notice straight away here in the middle on the top that's the name of the preset okay so you have the CPU usage here very important which will increase as you play um, the preset like so <laughs> And as you can see, you can also uh, you can also uh, you also have the number of voices which are played simultaneously here. You can go uh, to the previous preset, or you can go to the next preset, like so. Again, and uh, let's see another preset. <laughs> As you can see on the screens, uh, there are things moving. Of course, the volume here, um, left and right channel. If I try again, you can also see uh, there was something moving on the cutoff and also on the tone, which effectively is modulation, which is applied to the different controls, in this case, to the filter or on the oscillator or end in, uh, to the oscillator, in this case oscillator number one. Um, if we want to browse an additional number of preset, you can click on the browse button. And here I present to you quite a comprehensive uh, set of options that you can use to actually browse other presets. So you can browse or filter by instrument type, like in this case all of them. And um, if you can see, I have uh, uh, installed now more than uh, uh, 1,000 presets. Okay. You can choose, for example, base, and then we restrict uh, uh, the preset to the base or a bell. Okay. Sorry, a bell here. You can also expand the category on the plus sign of the base to go to analog base or distorted base. If you stick to all, then for the instrument type, you can also filter by attributes, additive, chords, digital. So for example, can I have all the bass, for example, which are FM? There are two, so the X bass LM. So let's hear it. Let's go lower uh, of an octave, clicking in here. Select another preset. Perfect. Or you can uh, filter also by author. So in this case, Big Tone Studio, like so. And you have all the bass, um, which have all attributes, and but only for the Big Tone Studio's author. In this case, I've selected all the banks, but I can select the preset um, factory or also my favorite if I have created some. Uh, and of course, you can click here uh, on your preset and that will be loaded. You, let's go back to uh, filter for all instrument, all authors. Okay. You can also uh, click on the preset here and you can search. So for example, let's search for pad and press enter. 
and they will find you all the parts. <laughs> You can focus the window like so. So if you move it, for example, uh, you scroll it down, you can't see it. You can click on that. It will highlight preset 380 in this case. You can set also your favorite clicking on the star here. And you can unfavorite click on the star again. You have some additional sentence here where you can filter by last modified. Show all, last 24 hours, 7 days, and uh, 30 days. You can also assign preset to a MIDI bank, and you can choose the MIDI bank which is appropriate, which we'll look in another video. And you can also import a preset, very powerful. You can choose also if the bank is local to your machine, or if it is online, uh, which is a great new features. Here you, we are looking at the preset library, as you can see here, that is what is selected by default. We can also have a look at the MIDI programs. So here we'll show you all the MIDI banks for each MIDI bank, then the programs and the preset. You can move up and down and you can also delete. And the last one is the in-app shop. And here you can uh, choose uh, different uh, audio products. You can check the platform. Uh, for all the platform, all only iOS, and you can check what type expansion or not, what type of product purchase installed, and also different tags. And you can use this for filters, and then you can choose the one which you think is appropriate. You have a picture of it, um, of of the product you selected with the number of preset, the release date, the price, and then we have a description. Okay. And then also some audio demos. You can install in a purchase or buy now a product that you have selected. Okay, so let's click on the browse button again to go back to the main screen. So let's continue to explore uh, the app. So starting from the top left, we have Polyphony. Let's send the number of voices that you can set Synth Master 1 to play with. So 4, 8, 12, or 16. Um, you can set the mode to poly or mono, okay? So mono will play only one note at a time, poly multiples, based on the polyphony that you have activated. And you then have an option for glide. Now, to understand how the glide option works, set the mode to mono. And... Um, Make sure that the glide is set to zero to the uh, left. If you click a note and move to the next, you will notice that you move to the next uh, note uh, instantaneously. So let's include increase the glide and try again. As you can hear, there is a glide between the notes uh, as you are moving on the keyboard, which is, the glide is determined by um, the glide setting, which is selected here. Of course, other parameters comes to influence this. For example, on the x-axis, uh, here it, on the keyboard is set to do a glissando, but we can say set it to scroll. In this case, when I move, I will not be able to have the glisten effects and therefore uh, uh, hear the effect of glide because I'm actually scrolling the window. So make sure that in the X axis you have glisten if you want to, of course, hear the glide effect. As you're moving, um, you can see on the screen there is feedback here on the value. Okay, in this case, a millisecond, which is good if you want to be precise. You have an undo function, which uh, brings you back to the previous settings, and you can keep doing that. Or you have a redo, which is exactly the opposite. Um, we have seen the screen here where it shows you the preset. Okay. And uh, as well, we have seen the uh, browse button as well. 
One more thing I want to show you is the, if you click on here and on the preset, you have a new menu where you can load the in, initialize the preset or the any preset. Very useful if you want to create uh, a new preset. Or you can load default preset or a random one, which is really good. Also, in uh, one of the latest release of this app, they included the uh, iCloud um, sync, so you can download public preset from the cloud, synchronize your preset to the cloud, so you can share them from between different devices, for example. You can look at your favorites and also call for a template if you want to start a new page based on uh, the template. And of course, you can also look at the recent presets that you browsed on. So uh, very interesting options. Here you have also save button. And when you click on it, it gives you the possibility to save a preset as, or say, save it as a default preset. Next, we have the velocity. And if you click and hold, and you move up and down, the moment you're using the mouse, you can change that curve which of course will influence the velocity as you play uh, through your MIDI controller. And of course you have feedback on the values here on the screen as always. You can change the tune. So... You can change the volume overall. Here you see the meters, and here you have the logo KT331 audio. Um, so that's all for today. See you at the next video. Bye.